Recently in one of my previous videos, I covered the LifeX Tile. I've been enjoying them. They're actually the key light for this video, giving me a nice uh, white glow on my wall right now. And today I have a very similar product from the same company, LifeX, and this is the beam fixture. As opposed to the tile, which is a square tile of LEDs, this is a beam of LEDs, as the name implies. Similar to the tile, they can be controlled with Google, Cortana, Siri, Alexa, If This and That, and Nest. This can also be controlled with your voice, where the tile can be controlled by tapping it on and off. It'll be interesting to see how much control you have with your voice with this product. In the box, it comes with six beams with 10 individual light control zones each. They all connect with magnets to each other. And it also comes with one corner piece. That way you can make uh, a shape like an, a big L or a big T. Unfortunately, it doesn't have all four sides to be connected to, which would be kind of cool. It also comes with, you know what, let's just open it up. So same with the tile box that has the little sleeve with all the information on it. Then it has a nice sleek white box with the logo on the top. You open it up to find a nice product page, and then on the back it has some quick setup and installation guides, uh, getting started information, and then some tips over here. And then we get into the actual product. So we've got one beam, two, three, four, five, and six. And then a little mini box of accessories. First up, we get the actual power cable. This end isn't really something you'd normally see. It's magnetic with three little prongs. And then on this side is your standard 12 volt power. Inside of here, this is probably the where the mic picks up your voice. It also probably controls the LED zones and might be a Wi-Fi module as well. Uh, so that's the power cable. And we've got this little guy. So this is the corner block. On the bottom, we have the connection to where the power cable would be going towards. And then on either side of it, we have two power outputs. Next up, we've got basically the same power connection that the tile has, but instead it has the typical standard circular power supply cable connection. And then on this side, we have the same um, replaceable power block where we can add this little guy. So we can change them out depending on what So you can change this out depending on what region you're in. It's probably cheaper for them to make all the different connections like this and then one standard power connection worldwide so that way you just... Finally in this box we have the same tiny little information guide similar installation guides and stuff like that. So uh, let's get to one of these beams. So they all have this little plastic sleeve and this is it. So this is one out of six of the beams. On the back it has the same Velcro that the tiles have with the 3M sticker. I think I'm going to be setting these tiles up along the wall here, so um, I'll be sticking them on with this. Each tile connects magnetically, so you can already see that the magnet's pretty strong. On each end, there's one side that has three little prongs, and then the other end has three female prong adapters. 
then the magnets just kind of pull them together and I guess they are connected. And that's That's why you stick them to your wall. So that's that. I'm gonna do a quick little time lapse here, uh, showing off the installation, and then I'll I'll be back to talk you through it. Now, before I get started setting all these up, the first thing you want to make sure before you do anything is that you orient the beams in the way that you want your power cable to go. So the power connection can only be connected to one side of the beam. The other side, the magnet doesn't even let you connect it the other side. So you want to make sure that you plug it in the right way first before you stick it to your wall. If you don't, it's not the biggest deal because they're all Velcro, so you can take them off, but then that means you have to do them all. So just keep that in mind. might be kind of hard to see with the window in the background, but I've got my first piece set up. I'm going to make a little bit of an L shape where it goes up here and then across underneath the angled ceiling. So I'm basically just going to keep going as far as I can until the beams run out. So let's get to number two. You notice I got my level here, so I'm going to make sure each time that when I'm setting it up, I hold the level to the beam making sure that it's level. So you probably noticed that I was holding them down for a little bit. So with 3M tape, you usually have to hold it for 15 to 30 seconds just to make sure that it sticks to the wall strongly. So I guess let's uh, try and pair it up with our phone. So I'm gonna go into the LifeX app. Here you can see that I already have my bedroom tiles on and I can turn them off and on here. I'm gonna add a new device, set up, Select a new device. LifeX Beam, there we go. Add it. Can add my password. That was a good sign, I hope. Preparing the device. All right, so we're all set up. We've got it all set up. The app is all ready to go. So I'm gonna add it back to my existing location because I have my LifeX tiles. I could add a new location if I wanted to, but who cares? I'm gonna add it to my bedroom as well. And click next, name, beam. Next. Congratulations, we are done. Now we got full control of all of it. Let's see some themes. There we go. Now this is probably because we are in the static theme. Let's try and go to the morph theme. Run it on, okay. Cool. Oh. 
So apparently animating a theme, while it works on the tiles, seems to animate a solid color on the beam. So let's stop this animation. Let's try, see if we can run it on, can't run the fire effect. Let's try the random effect, see how that works. Now I must say the color transition is very choppy. It almost seems like it's 12 to 15 hertz. It would be nicer to be a little bit smoother. The tiles are definitely much smoother in transitions when it comes to colors. Um, let's see if there's any other effects that we can run. Strobe effect. I have yet to have good luck with the strobe effect and I don't know why. Let's try the visualizer. If you remember from the LifeX tile video, the tiles did not do very well with the visualizer. So let's try and see how well we do with this. So it seems to be even worse than the <laughs> than the tiles. It seems like it has two or three different brightness modes that it just kind of flashes on and off while slowly rotating through the rainbow color spectrum. So, so far visualizer, strobe don't work. Let's see if we can throw on the spooky theme and see what that's like. Now I think I could play around with the settings to make it a bit better, but Pretty sure it's this bad because of how not smooth the uh, the LEDs are with the brightness transitions. So, I wonder what move is. See, this actually looks pretty good. I guess these beams don't work well with changing intensities, but changing colors, it seems to be pretty smooth. Um, so I'll probably stick to some sort of animation like this instead of an animation that requires some sort of intensity changing. Overall, they look really nice. I think they're going to be a great complement to the tiles. Another cool thing about the LifeX app that I've been using recently is the uh, you can schedule certain things to happen. So in the app, you can add new schedule, uh, new schedule, and then in the schedule, you can make these do whatever you want to do at a certain time. So Right now, I've been waking up at 10 every day during quarantine, uh, so I have the lights turn on bright white every day at 10. So I'm thinking the beams will be added to this schedule as well. So that's that. I'm pretty happy with this. It definitely adds a bit more color pop to my room, even though my walls are bright orange. Uh, it's nice to have a little bit more colors running around. I guess I still have more work to do on this app, even after playing around with it after the tiles um, video that I made. But overall, I think it's a great product. The only downside so far that I can see is it seems pretty cumbersome to pair to the app as with the tiles, so I'm guessing that that's an in-app problem. And then the other problem I have is obviously the lack of smooth transitions between intensities. If you can look past those two things, obviously, once you get them set up in the app, you shouldn't have to do it again. So you can look past that once you get it set up. And then if you're okay with a little bit of jagged intensity changes, then honestly, I would recommend these. They're pretty cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a big thumbs up and comment down below what you think of these. and what you think of them in comparison to the tiles. I don't have a favorite yet. I might in the future. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.